It's Monday, the 13th day of August, 2012. I am your host, Alex Jones. And get ready because it is all over the news that the banks are preparing for total collapse. Troops are rolling around the streets everywhere, acclimating the public. Homeland Security is involved in every city and county and state activity. Power grabbing. Things are really getting crazy. And uh, the Washington Times is reporting on what we reported on last week. The Civil War of 2016, the Pentagon trying to take on the Tea Party. Al-Qaeda is not the threat. The American people are the enemy because foreign bankers have hijacked the country and they're trying to turn the military and police into globalist collaborators similar to the Vichy French. And tyranny is the norm worldwide. It's happening now. In fact, coming up, um, Asia Times, Al-Qaeda flags fly over rebel-held Syria. Boom. Just like Libya. More visible U.S. role expected in Syria in coming weeks, Turkey says. Here come the peace bombs from the peace president. Also, Israeli news reporting that the president is close to saying they will join an Israeli attack. That's in the U.S. Israel test SMS missiles. Alerts as Iran shatter grows, AFP. Syrian video said to show rebels throwing bodies off roof. Mumbai on alert after weekend riot. Two Syrian journalists killed in Damascus. It just goes on and on. We're going to be breaking all of that down. Daryl Issa to sue Eric Holder today. That's on a roll call. Uh, here's the big news because it, it's exactly what I was already going to be covering today. And now here it is. First, they bought 250 million hollow point bullets, then 750 million. So now we're up to, um, well, well, the new announcement, first it was 250 million, then 450 million, and now 750 million. So if you do the math on that, what's 750 million plus 250 million plus 450 million? I'm about 14, 100 million. <laughs> I mean, what is that, three or four bullets for every person in the United States were 312 million or something? I tell you, I mean, these numbers of bullets are getting so big, I can't even do the math now. <laughs> Armored pillboxes, checkpoints everywhere, brainwashed police and military being told to get ready for war with the American people. Drones being launched everywhere, total gear up, and the military admitting in all these manuals, training for gun confiscation, training for re-education camps. Man, I'm telling you, the globalists are the types that'll nuke four or five cities and say that the patriots did it. Or they're the types that'll release a bioweapon and just wait for everybody to dig out after you know tens of millions die. Yeah, so uh, DHS won't explain its purchase of 450 million rounds of 40 cal. That's their standard sidearm. They're arming every agency you can imagine. So let's be clear. 250 million rounds last year, 450 million they bought a few months ago, and now 750 million. How many is that? That's 1,400 million. So that's... What is that, 1.4 billion? 1.4 billion rounds of ammo for the American people. <laughs> just, I mean, these are just lawless crooks. You got Janet Napolitano and a bunch of jackbooted weirdo women dominating the men, screaming at them, putting their stuff in the bathroom over and over again. I mean, we're in the hands of lunatics. You know what tyranny is? It's when lunatics uh, take over. We're going to be breaking it all down on the other side. Stay with us. My friends, fellow liberty lovers of every race, color, creed, and religion worldwide, thank you so much for joining us on this Monday edition, the 13th day of August 2012. We are about to launch into the incredible news, and believe me, there is a lot of it. The federal government and the governments of Europe are openly under the control of a banking mafia cartel that brags in hundreds of publications per month and on television that they have conquered us.
They have now entered into an acclimation phase of flaunting it, uh, as criminals like to do in everyone's face. So they've now gone to the criminal flaunting stage, which criminals always do. They always tell on themselves. They always brag at nauseum. It is part of uh, the screwed up mindset of these people throughout history. Humans only live on average about 75 years. Uh, we never seem to learn from the past. We go through these cycles over and over again. But here is the news. Last year, 250 million rounds of hollow point 40. Uh, that's been the main sidearm for more than a decade of all the federal forces. That means globalist collaborators. Not saying everybody in the federal government's evil, but you are run by foreign banks now. So you are collaborators. Sure, there were Vichy French that worked with Hitler who didn't like him, did it out of cowardice, did it out of careerism. It doesn't matter. You are helping occupiers of this country who are very nasty. We are occupied. You are collaborators. Let's just get that straight. You do work for criminals, uh, mentally ill criminals. I mean, look at Fast and Furious. Look at uh, the head of Homeland Security in New York about Janet Napolitano and her, her gal pals uh, ruling everyone and doing psychopathic stuff. I can't even mention on air. Uh, just absolutely mentally ill. Well, of course they're mentally ill. That's what that's what these type of terrorists are like. And if we won't call them what they are, it's over. Tyranny in history is around 99 plus percent of the time. There have been less than 10 times in world history, most historians agree, about seven or eight, you can debate it, where you've had a free society to some extent out of thousands of different civilizations that have come and gone. People say thousands. Yeah, there's probably been 25 different permutations in the last 3,000 years in what is Rome and Italy today. There have been hundreds of permutations in what are the Greek islands. There have been hundreds of permutations uh, in uh, what is Central Asia and Iran. Hundreds of different permutations in Mesoamerica. And the norm is vicious, aggressive ruling classes that are like cancer. They're programmed to take it all. They're programmed to take over the body politic. And they're programmed to exercise power to the point of the reason when Cortez showed up with less than 200 men on horseback, the reason they could fight tens of thousands of the Mesoamericans um, and Montezuma was because disease wiped a lot of them out. But, but more importantly, they had already, in, in some cases on special holidays, demanded that in some cases, 10% of the population be killed. And they would kill tens of thousands a day sometimes. And so they just, and they would kill the strongest on those holidays. Uh, they would kill the winners of the different sporting events. They had their own Olympics. And you would fight to be able to be killed. I mean, people were so brainwashed, they wanted to be killed. Uh, that's mind control just with culture. And it's the same thing. I've studied history. Let me tell you something. The people we've got running things are the most crazy, wicked, twisted devils I've ever seen. The globalist plan that's public, by the way, is so horrific that one cannot even be told about it. One has to research it and read their own writings. It is so vicious. Now, that said, uh, here's the deal. And everybody, police, military, all of you, uh, the general public, radio talk show hosts, people that write in the news, all of you have to decide what side you're on. No one is covering this but a few newspapers, alternative media, the government documents are all public, the Drudge Report, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, DrudgeReport.com, things like that. Uh, the mainline talk show hosts are not covering it, even though it's all public. Army documents that they admit are theirs for re-education camps, for collapse of society, for total gun confiscation, for taking open uh, over local police departments. And they're going operational is the issue. Massive funding, massive buildup. People say, oh, well, they had this on the books in the 1980s with Rex 84. Well, yeah, they had it in Eisenhower's time. And that's why he warned the military industrial complex and killed the program early in 61, right before he left office. So, so this has been a long-term plan. And in, and in every case in history, from Rome to Nigeria or Mexico today, you worry about the military taking over. That is criminal interests using the military to take over. That's always the big threat to a sovereign or free society. That's why, again, in ancient Rome, you couldn't bring the military into Italy. It was really a province of the 
Roman city-state. Wasn't even a country. You couldn't bring them out of uh, Austria or out of uh, areas north of there, which Switzerland today. You couldn't bring the military in. Why? Because the because the top general with the military would just take over. They'd seen that in every other country that they dealt with. So this is what we're dealing with now. Foreign banks have gotten all the major regulatory positions. Most of the people in Congress are their agents. They've gotten federal and globalized training of the police and military. And they are the number one U.S. military action in the world and gear up. Dwarfing pretty much all the other operations combined is a giant sustained covert buildup for absolute war with the American people that the system plans to start. And no matter what it takes, you turn your guns in, they'll start grabbing your kids. It is meant to elicit a response. The entire homeland security system was set up in the beginning to be for the American people and to dissolve the republic. Homeland security is homeland insecurity. It's the Department of Homeland Destruction. It is the Department of Homeland Takeover. And this is what we're dealing with now. Now, so let me just cover some of the news here that's, that's got me having to catch my breath. The so-called federal government, openly run by foreign banks, got 250 million rounds of hollow point, 40 caliber general issue ammo, just an off the chart giant order. Then a few months ago, they ordered 450 million rounds. We have United Press International Associated Press on this. Paul Watson's got a big article breaking the whole thing down. Today, they've announced the order for 750 million more rounds of ammo. That is 1.4 billion. 1.4 billion. What is that? There's, there's 312 million people in the U.S., so what is that, four bullets for each person? More than four bullets for every man, woman, and child in this country. I looked at pass orders. The feds would order a half million rounds of ammo at a time for DHS. I mean, I mean, how many of them are really shooting their guns or even practicing? This is a, this is a seismic digging in buildup level. This is what you order if you plan to make things go road warrior and fully collapse into armored uh, government fortress mode. All the rest of us run around out here and things collapse. And I'm telling you, that's one of the main plans they've got is just turn things off. Paul Joseph Watson, this article should be red link, but it's the four story down on Infowars.com. DHS to purchase another 750 million rounds of ammo. Second massive ammunition buy this year. Fuels fears of civil unrest. Gee, you think when they're buying hundreds of armored mobile pillboxes for the highways, try armored pill armored. Uh, checkpoint facilities, giant black armored vehicles being delivered to police departments with Homeland Security on the side with gun turrets on the top. Gunboats for the lakes and rivers with uh, big uh, twin machine gun mounts on the top. Your money, 30,000 drones, arming police drones, uh, federal training, military doing checkpoints everywhere, Marines doing DWI.